So you know what they say, better late than never. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubafar on this 17th of November, 2022. CIG release Inside Star Citizen, a cut above. Nice play on words. The day before IAE starts, I wanted to let you know that there's a brand new video called The Only Guide You Need. I know that sounds very arrogant, right? But I do believe that I've been able to take nine years of following the changing landscape of buying ships and display that for you into one big monster guide. It's intended for veterans and novices to get them the most out of IAE. Moving on with today's show, here's what you need to know. Jared spoke about how important starter ships are, specifically some of the new ones being released tomorrow. And just so you know, cheap concept ships are also called LTI tokens. So there's your opportunity. The developer said that sometimes players should just bomb around in a starter ship despite having a complete fleet. Starting in a starter puts things into perspective. Many of the old starter ships were not designed with the modern game in mind. The new Drake Cutter is a single player ship with all of what you need to perform all of the starting game loops. They said it has better than average range. They said the cutter is tossed together and a little bit ugly with a mix and match of different ship parts. The cutter is a bit of a handful in the corners. It's larger than other starters internally and there's no fit and finish. The cutter does have a ramp with a generous cargo hold. There's a shitter, a bed, a locker. In the flight deck there seems to be a great pilot's view and this might become the most recommended starter ship once the community has had the chance to test shit out of it. Jared led with the next segment, which is a bit of a history lesson from the lore team about Drake. Most of us already know all of this, that Drake is known for being the favored by pirates company, but they actually are a legitimate company. They're cheap and easy to fix, so they're very common, and that also lends very well to being used by criminals. Because of this relationship, Drake was often excluded or pushed to the back of big conventions. This year, Drake has had enough, and they went big and are hosting this year's IAE. Right? Origin is getting a facelift and John Crew spoke about the 600i. They said that the legacy version didn't really play out very well and we've been told for quite some time now that the rework will address this. The 890 jump was a good way to redefine the style guide which will be applied to the 600. Near the end of the segment they said that they will be starting to work on this and they did say that there are still some rooms that need to be fleshed out. The module has been moved to the rear. There's an armory room for player gear. Mechanical bits are together in a lower room. The habitation sections is four staterooms, a medical bay with a tier two bed, a smaller cargo hold, an observation deck. There's also a main cargo hold and a garage. There are internal elevators to get around and they have art that shows a tonk being transported internally. The touring variant is quite different. There's a pool, there's a bar, there are VIP suites with escape pods, a kitchen, a spa. They said they do need to move a bunch of stuff around, but they do want to keep that silhouette mostly the same. They confirmed that it's not being worked on, but soon is the desire. That's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I'll see you at IAE. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.